Hi everyone. In this session, another important question uh, during the technical interviews, they will ask you like how you are testing the login functionality. So this question is basically the primary purpose. They want to know about your thought process, how much you are analytical strong and how you are creating the variations with respect to positive test cases and with respect to negative test cases. So let's see how you can answer these questions in a simple words. First of all, uh, you need to specify with like these kinds of example, like if I will be as a user able to log in with a valid username and a valid password. So this is the one positive test case. Or you would like to say verify user cannot log in with the username and an invalid password. So you are sharing the negative test case scenario here. Another scenario you can share, verify the login for both. When the field is blank and submit button is clickable. This is another negative scenario you are sharing. You can also share this scenario like verify the forgot password functionality. This is the positive test case or verify the message for invalid login or you can share like verify the remember me functionality or you can share verify if the data is password field is either visible as asterisk or bullet signs are showing or you can share more scenarios like verify if a user is able to log in with a new password only after he or she has changed the password so this is another positive scenario you are sharing or you can give the answer for the login functionality like Verify if the login page allows to login in simultaneous with the different credential in the different browsers. Or you can share another test case. Verify if the entry key of the keyboard is working correctly on the login page. So this is how you are respond to these questions with respect to functional test cases. Now you can share also more test cases. Let's say if you also want to create a good impression like for the security purposes, you would like to say to them, verify if a user cannot enter the correct and more than the specific range in each field, like username and password. Or you can share another test case, verify a username cannot enter the correct and more than the specified range in each field, like username and password, like you have restricted for the 10 characters or 15 characters. So system should not allow to write more than 10 characters now. Or you can also specify the test case or share the thoughts with them. Verify the login page presenting the back button of the browser. It should not allow the user to enter into the system once you log out. So if you log out, so the system should not allow you to log in again. Log, And then you can also be able to verify the timeout functionality of the login screen. And then if verify if a user should not allow to log in with different credentials from the same browser at the same time. Another test case can be like uh, verify if a user should be able to log in with the same credentials in a different browsers at the same time. Or you can share another test case verify the login page against the SQL injections attacks. So that belongs towards the security ones and the negative test cases or you would like to say to them verify the implementation of SSL certificate. So these are the test cases you can specify which belongs towards the security test cases now. Thank you very much for watching this session.